वट इज असिंक्रोनस प्रोग्रामिंग इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट वट इज इट्स यूज वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन एंड वेरी पॉपुलर बिफोर असिंक्रोनस प्रोग्रामिंग वी नीड टू नो वट सिंक्रोनस प्रोग्रामिंग इज सपोज यू हैव फोर फंक्शन और टास्क लाइक दिस इन योर प्रोजेक्ट देन इन सिंक्रोनस प्रोग्रामिंग दे विल एग्जीक्यूट समथिंग लाइक दिस इन सीक्वेंस Here, task two will only start once the task one is finished. At the end, the total time taken by them is simply the sum of the time taken by the individual tasks. But in asynchronous operations, the functions or tasks can execute concurrently or you can say parallelly. Here, task two will not wait for the completion of task one. Therefore. In asynchronous programming, the total time taken by the same task is lesser than the in the synchronous programming. That is the high level idea. Okay, now let's see the code. Uh, what other problems in synchronous programming there are which we can solve by asynchronous programming? Suppose we have the synchronous code. We are starting, then we are calling two functions one by one, and then we are logging the end statement. Now suppose that function is a very time consuming function like this. Here you can say it is doing a time consuming operation. Then we have this function 2 which is very simple, short and it is independent of function 1. In synchronous programming, function 1 will block the execution of function 2 until it uh, function 1 completes itself, right? That is the problem. It will delay the whole operation and it can also hang or stuck the browser but in asynchronous programming function 1 will not block function 2 and both can run concurrently and parallelly other than non-blocking benefit both can functions together uh, will complete in less time right that is asynchronous programming and here are some points which you have to remember about it asynchronous programming allows multiple tasks or operations to be executed concurrently another very important point is asynchronous operations do not block the execution of the code very important point now the question is when to use asynchronous programming in what scenarios in real applications okay so the first can be fetching the data from the external api second while downloading the large files then while uploading the large files then doing some operations like animations and transitions or any time consuming operation so that is the idea of the use of the synchronous programming but remember one thing java script is single threaded not uh, like c sharp or java which are multi threaded okay so basically java script can execute single task at a time but by managing the tasks execution properly by asynchronous programming we can somehow make them concurrent and parallel like uh, if one task is uh, waiting for some resources then at in between we can execute other function in between so that's how asynchronous programming is possible in javascript